Hello, everyone. My name is Dame D. C. Cordova, and I'm welcoming you by myself right now because, as we know, with technology, Nicola had a little Wi Fi challenge in her neighborhood. So she's coming on as soon as possible. But I just wanted to really thank you for being here. And uh, so today is Saturday in the United States, and this particular recording will be seen all over the world. My name again is Dame D.C. Cordova. That stands for Doris del Carmen Cordova Michelle. Originally, I was from Chile, has have been in the United States for many, many years, came here as a child. And um, I, for the last nearly 40 years, I've had the opportunity to have been around the financial literacy world. My mentors were the people that literally created the training field um, in that area and also the transformational, experiential, entrepreneurial industry. So um, we are very well known, particularly overseas, for a program called Money and You. And some of our most notable graduates are people like uh, Robert Kiyosaki or Rich Dad Poor Dad. He was our business partner for nine years and worked and was around us for about 17 years. And then you have other people like Tony Robbins, uh, who we trained when he was about 23 years old. <clears throat> and then we have other people that are, hold on just a second, I wanna get my phone near me in case it rings. Thank you. <clears throat> and then other people like Paul Mitchell, Hill Products, uh, before he passed on in 1989, he did the program in 1980. And when I spoke to his partner, Paul DiGioria, that has taken the company really into billions and billions of dollars. One of the things that Paul Mitchell learned were two major principles that we teach in our program. So <clears throat> when you read more about me, you can go to dccordova.com or you can go to moneyandyou.com. You will learn much more about us. And Nicola Jackson, for all those of you who are in my network, <clears throat> excuse me, who will be watching this. Um, they are, most of them are asleep right now. Yeah. We have the whole Pacific, Asia Pacific region. We are Singapore, Malaysia, and Australia, New Zealand, and all up and down, all the way up to China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan, Brunei, and Cambodia, India, too many countries to mention. But we are so excited because Nicola Jackson is a graduate of our program. She first attended the Accelerated Business School for Entrepreneurs, went all the way from Atlanta to Malaysia, and was so uh, blown away by the quickness, the fastness, the, the just how quickly in eight days she could master such major areas of entrepreneurship. She was very successful anyway, was going through some changes at the time, but she had the opportunity to really strengthen all those areas of her life that needed more strengthening and to let go of the things that maybe were getting in the way of her creating greater results. So I am her guest this morning, and one of the things that we are talking about <clears throat> is going to be about really getting unstuck. And this is again, as some of you may have been listening to our other Zoom call and, um, and video recordings, you know, I am a master of making mistakes and I'm also a master of getting unstuck. Now, I know that uh, her network um, is quite a bit in the network um, marketing field, um, but this is relevant to any entrepreneur, any business person, actually any human being that gets stuck somewhere in their lives because of many different things, because of circumstances, because of life. There are so many things that occur. So one of the, uh, so let me just share with you that, and Nicola, you let us know when you are in, okay? As soon as you can join us, you just let us know. So um, let me just share a little bit. In the, I personally have been working on myself for, 40, for over 40 years, 42 years to be exact. And, um, and I was very successful in the legal field. I was a, a court reporter an official court reporter in the LA criminal court systems, and I was gonna grow up to be an attorney. I don't know, for those of you that may remember the O.J. Simpson case, <clears throat> there was a big building they used to uh, show right before you know the show would begin, and, um, and that's called the uh, Criminal Courts Building in downtown LA, CCB. That was my home for a while. And then I moved to Hawaii and continued being an official court reporter there. 
And uh, so I learned a lot about people in that atmosphere, in that environment. And then later I went on to learn about myself and this is something for you. Everything that I say is for you to have an understanding of what I'm sharing with you. So for you, you need to know that the greatest thing about getting unstuck is for you to know yourself so well, but know yourself well in a way that other people also see you, not just how you see yourself. And the way to do that is by process, by clearing, by conversations, by spending three and a half days in a program like Money and You. But also having the ability to be able to move yourself out of upset when upsets occur. This is where the greatest mastery occurs. And <clears throat> there are several principles that we cover in our Money and You program. There's one that has to do with mastery. And so uh, the whole weekend, in many ways, is about really getting tools and how to create self-mastery, how to become a master of yourself. But then there's another principle that we talk about, which is the theory of dissipative structures. And it's actually no longer a theory, so I don't know why they call it a theory. But I believe in 1979, Ilya Prigogini won a Nobel Prize for that particular, um, um, it was actually a physics, um, it was a physics conversation. The dissipative structures, it was actually based on engines. And, and I'm gonna make this so simple, so if out there this, any physicist, please forgive me for this, this is the kitchen spun definition of the theory of dissipative structures, okay? So basically what, what uh, Ilya Prigogini was able to prove that engines, when they don't have any flexibility, what was happening, there is a combustion that occurs. There is a, an explosion that occurs, which makes the machinery work. So what they found out that whenever that particular combustion would occur, there will be a growth, there will be an expansion. And so engines and machineries were being made in a way that it couldn't allow for that expansion. Therefore, it, there were a lot of breakdowns. So when, that, when he won the Nobel Prize, it was like a solution to a lot of problems in, in the field of, of creating machines and, and of being able to, <clears throat> to really make many, many, many things work. So what we do in Accelerated Business Schools and the Money and Youth Program is that we take what are called, what not what I call, what are called generalized principles. And so we have another mentor, Mr. Fuller, who also, he's the one that originally taught us about generalized principles. So we began to really be able to identify them. So the theory of dissipative structures in layman's terms, it's called perturbation, when perturbation occurs. Okay, so now what we learned from Bucky Fuller, he was our biggest teacher in this area, which was that whenever there is, um, whenever there is two different realities that get created, that come together. So like for instance, your old reality that you may have about money, that it is, hard to make, there's not enough money, you're not educated enough, whatever it is. And then somebody like myself, Nicola, her team, and other amazing people that have proven and have taught and for decades and have shown this not to be true, comes along and says there are tools, there are, there are, um, there are principles, there are exercises, there are processes that you can go through and that can teach you. And what's going to happen is that you're going to be able to actually do have the level of abundance, the level of wealth, and the level of money that you do want. Oh, Nicola, we can hear you. <clears throat> we can hear typing. Hi, are you there? Oh, maybe it's somebody else. Okay, thank you. So, so one of the things that, um, that occurs that here you have a whole other reality that somebody's inviting you to. And so when the two are combined, there is like this combustion that occurs and perturbation occurs. And then you have this explosion, literally, 
of where people go, get confused, how it works in human behavior. People get confused, they get hurt, they get angry. It's the same thing, uh, it could be in, in any real, <clears throat> in any situation when big change occurs. Like for instance, you are really happy in your relationship, you're really happy in your job, <clears throat> you think that everything is going really well, your product or service has been making you money, you have a good life, you, your family has a good life, and then there's a change that happens in the economy, in technology, something changes, then all of a sudden there is this, whoa, this new reality, your old reality, new reality, technology, like right now we see it all over the world. <clears throat> we can even talk about like the coal miners, you know, for those people that really understand that actually all those jobs have been mostly taken by robotics and other reasons, but not so much like a person on the ground believes. So there's this tremendous perturbation that's going on. And then they're given wrong information or they don't have access to correct information. Then bigger perturbation occurs. And then you have, whew, that breakthrough hasn't happened yet. So we are very good at teaching and showing you and for you to learn right now that the way to get unstuck immediately is by you getting that when you are upset when things change when things when you get stuck is you're most likely going through a process of perturbation and so there, there's always what i recommend one of the solutions is for you to have many plans, okay? So one of the things that I'd like to, to recommend to you, one of the things that I've learned, I was taught this and then I learned it for myself, have proven it to myself many, many times, is about giving yourself immediately choices. In some of the other Zoom calls, I have mentioned this before, you know, the way that my brain works and the way that I like to share information and particularly learning experiences that I have had is by little stories and then also there's some repetition. And that repetition is so maybe you didn't hear it the last time and you're gonna hear it again. But one of the things that we're really doing is that we're really, we are like almost tricking the mind because remember you have the unconscious which is almost impossible to change the unconscious mind can only be changed through extreme pleasure or extreme, extreme pain, which we're all very familiar with the way that people get brainwashed and you know, you know all those stories. There's a whole other technology of tremendous pleasure. We're not talking about drugs or alcohol <clears throat> because those are not real. They, they feel pleasurable, but that's, they are not real pleasure that is really happening deeply, deeply, deeply in your brain as other kind of pleasures. So there, there's a bunch of technologies out there that we won't go into that conversation. But right now you need to know that it's almost impossible to change some of your unconscious, your unconscious beliefs without extreme pleasure and extreme pain. And or you're going through processes like we're doing money and you because they involve they invoke uh, all all the different senses because we we use left and right brain teaching techniques and so what happens is that we're now engaging all kinds of new parts of your brain that you may not have used since you were a child like and so we give people color pens we have blank pages and people have an opportunity to be able to begin to activate the right brain more. So, so what happens now is that you're beginning to, to have different experiences and begin to pull out. And the subconscious is much easier because the subconscious is like a computer. So if you, if you wanna pull anything out of your subconscious to get unstuck, you do th things like my most negative thought about, okay? We're not gonna say beautiful things, we're not gonna, pull beautiful things out of your subconscious they are there to empower you to help you we're trying to get unstuck so getting unstuck means that you have an opportunity to be able to really look and see what is happening and what's so interesting that when you say for instance my most negative thought about money is or my most negative experiences around money finances businesses and and mistakes that you have made around money and 
and all those things, you begin to notice that if you do a writing exercise, that you begin to pull out all kinds of information that is actually that you may not have known about yourself and most people 99.9 .9 people on the planet when they do that exercise they kind of like come in and then they begin to to have <clears throat> excuse me these these memories and these experiences but not only that maybe a day later a week later even a month later uh, the unconscious begins to kind of chime in and goes, wait a minute, I remember this one major incident. And it is here where we begin to really learn the technology of getting unstuck, if I may call it that, which is that life is a process. And one of the things that, and I want to thank you for being here. I have a, my beautiful participants. Hi, I'm sorry that I can't see you. If you want it later, not right now, because it will distract me. If you would like to ask me any question on the chat, a little area, you can. Um, but I was just going to say, so I want to really thank all of you who are here. And for those of you that will be listening to this recording later, we understand that you have to work, you have children, you have families. It's Saturday for those of you in America. For those of you in Asia, you are having beautiful, sweet dreams, I hope. And, um, and then those people in Europe, maybe we will catch you. It's your evening time. I, my tendency is to be very global. I'm very aware of the time zones because I have spent so much time overseas my whole adult life. So what, what for those of you who, who are now listening to this, congratulations, because this is truly the only, these are the, the systems, the tips that I have learned. That once you begin to focus and say, okay, I am not going to learn how to get unstuck what you're beginning to do now is you're beginning to literally give a directive to your subconscious and your unconscious. We're going to start getting clear. <clears throat> and so what begins to happen is just like my teacher, Sandra Ray, that in 1977 began to teach me so much of this technology to get clear. And then I tried other things and then I evolved and evolved and evolved. You know, when you've been spending, you know, over 40 years, um, nearly 40 years doing this, you, you begin to get a little wise about it. So, so one of the things that she used to say is like, just look at this beautiful, uh, like a, a vase, uh, flowers, but uh, a vase that you put flowers in. And then there's dirt there at the bottom. There's a whole bunch of dirt. And then the dirt sets in and then the water looks pretty clean. But when you begin to stir and when you begin to create perturbation, there are things that occur in life that begin to perturbate you. Then that dust, that dirt, that debris begins to come up. This is good news because when you begin to feel this, it means that it's coming out for you to release it and let go. So when it comes up, when you, whenever your tummy tightens up, this is really important. This is something I teach my, my, my godchildren. I, I haven't had, I didn't have my own children. I had two miscarriages when I was very young. And uh, so I wasn't destined to have my own children. But God gave me many, many children in many different forms. So I have many godchildren and my friends have many children. And then those children have children. So now I have grand godchildren. I have children everywhere. And so I'm constantly around young people. And uh, one of the things that I always share with them it, it are not only these principles, but I teach them on how to handle upsets. And please forgive me, I just need to drink a little bit of my tea. I teach them how to handle upsets and how to handle perturbation by, for instance, when their tummy tightens up, when your tummy tightens up, that means that there's something that is being activated. So the first thing you do is take three deep breaths. So right now, let's just all take one big breath. Oh, and just really a good breath. Let's take another one. Just notice. Oh, do you notice that oxygen, what it actually does to your brain? It's actually very, very powerful. And then one more time, let's just... Okay, good. 
So the next time something really happens to you where you want to freaking kill somebody, I know that you're not going to kill anybody, but it's just a speech, okay? Just a talk. It's just a word. It's like we get so angry. We get so upset. Something has really hurt us or, you know, you kind of like somebody just pull all the plugs out of your brain energy. Just train yourself to like take three deep breaths and know that perturbation is here. Remember, perturbation is an old, rea uh, old reality, how life used to be, new information. Your life was really peaceful, new information that is really upsetting you. It clashes, it goes shh. And now here you are in perturbation, perturbation. And as the Bible says, this too shall pass. At some point, what's gonna happen is going to have a combustion it's going to be a little explosion. And if it's a responsible way of responding to that, and it's not an explosion that's going to create a lot of hurt, upset, or possibly land you someplace that you're not supposed to be, like jail, because you lost it so much, what you are going to do is there's going to be a breakthrough and you will have expanded and grown just like an engine because you are an engine. It's like Bucky Fuller used to teach us, learn from nature, learn the generalized principles from nature, then notice your human behavior. So we in Money and You and the Accelerated Business Schools and our instructors training program, everything that we do is we're teaching people how to become aware that these things occur in life how generalized principles can be applied to human behavior. And then when that combustion occurs, then you go to a whole other level of growth. And here, there was a um, Mr. Fuller, whom you can learn a lot more about. You can go to moneyandyou.com forward slash Bucky uh, Fuller, I believe it is, Mr. Fuller. Or just look in the tabs and you will find information on Bucky Fuller. Uh, one of the things that um, you will see is that he was this magnificent human being that not only taught us about these distinctions about generalized principles, but he also said this very powerful statement, which is, you can learn less. You don't learn less. You don't learn less. So even today, after our little conversation for an hour, you will have distinctions that I was able to pass along to you that I learned myself and that other people so kindly taught to me, share with me, and then you're gonna share with others. Because one of the most powerful things to do is to learn about how perturbation works because it runs all human beings. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so as you're having this experience and you took three deep breaths and you know now that you are and we actually say it in our environment. We will say things like, I'm in the middle of a very perturbating moment. You know, I am going through perturbation right now. And people just kind of like move away, and give you a lot of space and let you be. Because the one thing you don't want to do is get into somebody's face when they are in perturbation. Please don't. Please don't. That's a very dangerous thing to do. And it is not a good thing. It will just escalate everything. So just begin to remember this, especially if you're in upset right now with someone that you love deeply or your children are not behaving the way you would like them to or you're having challenges in your work. Um, and remember this, never, ever, ever make any major decisions when you are emotional. Don't, 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 don't. <clears throat> don't do this. I, I have, I did it many times. And then through the years, I have learned never because we make so many decisions in our heads when we are in the middle of perturbation. And, it, and, and what it does, it gets you more stuck than unstuck. That's what it does. It just, it just kind of like takes it more in. It's like more evidence when you just like go, Arr! and you make major decisions. In the middle of major perturbation, people decide to get divorces. They decide that their children are not good children. They quit their jobs. They quit, they close businesses. They spend huge amounts of money. They get in debt. 
you know, and, and, and sadly, remember, I work in the criminal courts system. Sadly, when, when I learned this principle, oh my God, I was like, I cried. I have to tell you, I cried and I cried very hard because I remember being in court day in and day out, watching people go to jail for things, perfectly good people, that for one stupid mistake that they had made, some of them were very, very, they were fatal, okay? And it was just like they crossed that line and, and ruined, took somebody's life, ruined a bunch of people's lives, and particularly their own lives. And now here they were gonna spend the rest of their lives locked up or worse, right? So, so when, I, when I thought, oh my God, that's what happens, that, that's what happens to people. And so, by the way, I have a friend, her name is Dr. Sherry Clark. She, got, she wrote her thesis and got her doctorate on the, on the six um, principles, of, um, the six major generalized principles of uh, Bucky Fuller. And, um, and her name is Dr. Sherry Clark. She, she's coming to Atlanta. She's going to be there next week for those of you that are going to be with us. And Dr. Sherry Clark spent over 30 years and saved the state of New York 1.4 billion, B with a B billion uh, dollars to the state of New York by putting on a thing called the shock incarceration uh, program. And it was the rehabilitation of prisoners and the, the teaching these principles and then being able to see what had happened. And he, her statistics were so great because usually I think it's something like 10% or maybe 5% of the people that get out, stay out and then go back to jail with her was the total opposite, like 90, 95% or 85%, a very, very high number actually stayed out and were able to contribute to others and became teachers and have community centers. Her statistics are so divine. And, um, and so this not only has been proven in, in many different universities and studies, but we have a direct study, which is Dr. Sherry Clark with her shock incarceration. Oops, Nicola, you're back. We can hear you. Okay, her incarceration process. So anyway, so as you can see, now that was a radical, radical example, but we make, we make actually um, mistakes like that all the time. We do things, we make decisions all the time. So right now, uh, we can actually hear you. There is some noise in the background. And so I just want you to do, uh, Nicola, is there any way that maybe, I know that you probably um, cannot, uh, come in right now, but but we actually can hear something in the background. Thank you, thank you. I got this girl, you can just go ahead and go and relax. <laughs> this is my favorite talk, you know, remember I kept talking, I kept saying, Nicola, I wanna share this really important information with her team and with her people and with my people again. Uh, my network has heard this before, but uh, you can hear it enough, just in case we forget. I. Even when I'm listening to myself, I'm going, I must remember those three deep breaths, right? So, so what we want to do now is we are now creating firewalls for ourselves. That is what we're doing. And this is what Money and You is so good at teaching people is like principles and tools. And, and there is a process for three and a half days that people go through where they, they are going through a process of self-discovery. And what is so powerful is the power of intention. There is um, a beautiful woman, I'll think of her name in a minute, and she did a study, she did a scientific study. She is a PhD on something, and uh, oh my God, I see her face. I'll think of her name in a minute. And, and one of the things that she did, she did this whole study on the power of intention. She wrote a whole book on it. And then what happens when people focus on something and really put their intention? together. So in Money and You, you have a group of people that get together for three and a half days and, and they're coming in to get themselves better. And this is good. This is really good. And some of you may have people in your life that say, oh, you're going to go to another one of those seminars. It doesn't look like it's really working for you. Well, it takes time, folks. Sometimes it takes years. Sometimes it takes decades. 
you know, you're not uh, my leading instructor that we're going to meet next week, Terry Surya. She likes to always make this quote. She says, you're not like a turkey that gets put in the oven and then something pops up and said that you're done. That's not how life works. It's a process and it's a process and it's a process. And I'm hoping that when I'm 140 years old and I'm leaving this world, that possibly I would have clear enough that I will be just completely, completely, completely unconditional love and would have an understanding of everything. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm not, not there yet. Okay, I'm, I'm really good, but I'm not there yet. And the biggest thing that gets you stuck is judgments with self. It's when you judge yourself. Sometimes people don't even notice, but you're judging yourself about, you could have done it this way, I could have done it that way, I wish that had happened, had not happened. So, so one of the things that, that, that I want you to do is I want you to know that you are like a, a piece of machinery, the finest, the most beautiful. Nothing has been able to duplicate human beings and the human brain yet. Even though, if you notice, cars were kind of designed, right, after human beings. One day I realized that. You know, they had the lights, you know, like our eyes. They have the horn, you know, so people can hear you. And the way that they, they created automobiles was actually the mechanics were based on the mechanics of our bodies. But Mr. Fuller taught us that. They, our whole body is this amazing how we move, our arms move, our legs move, our head moves. This is how mechanics were created. We were, machinery was fashioned after humanity, after human beings. The same thing with your brain. So your job, it's not just to learn how to get unstuck, but your job is to become such a masterful um, person of yourself, a masterful, masterful of, of how you're going to react and be. And it doesn't matter today, this moment, is the first moment of the rest of your life. The hippies used to say, today is the first day of the rest of your life. I got it down to this moment. Because transformation happens in one second. And, and we see this over and over and over and over again at Money and You and the business school. When it takes like one second for people to get that, to kind of like reconnect with themselves, with their inner family, with their inner mother, their inner father, their inner child. Not the inner critic, you know, not the, the person, the inner hammer. This is something that, that, uh, that I learned long, long ago. We have the biggest inner hammer that hits us and hits us and hits us in the head constantly. So what you want to do is you want to have firewalls so when that inner hammer, that inner critic, begins to, to attack you, and then what happens is that the way that the brain works, then you think that other people are attacking you. Then you think that other people are offending you. Then you think that other people are against you. And I'll never forget, I was going through a program called the Soul Program. This is a very different program than, than, than Money and You. This is, I, I like to do very advanced work. Systems of um, it, uh, Soul uh, Program. And if you want to know more about it, just let me know. But you can, uh, the Systems of Universal Law. And, um, and, and one of the things that I was doing was beautiful clearing with everyone. And I could assume that everyone was against me. And at this point, the master teacher, uh, well, Esperanza Universal, said to me, take a look, DC. They're actually not against you. They're loving you right now. They're giving you feedback. They're supporting you. If you can get this about yourself, your whole life is going to change because you have been defending yourself your whole life. And why not? You know, your first little boyfriend when you were six years old died of a horrible disease. Your first love when you were 18 years old was killed in a car accident a month before you were going to be married. Your baby that you didn't even know that you were pregnant, you lost your baby the day after his birthday, four months later. By that time, you had made so many decisions that made you this amazing workaholic. So by 24 years old, you were so successful, so beautiful, so gorgeous, and you were so sad. And you, you had no idea why life was the way that it was. I have done everything I was told to do. And so then you went to Hawaii because you, oh, then you go into the court system. 
so you can feel protected because you couldn't understand why not only your boyfriend died, but then an additional 13 friends died in Vietnam War, suicides, you know, uh, drownings. Every kid you knew just about was dying around you. So what happens? You close your heart, you move to Hawaii, and then beauty heals you. The great spirit comes in. You are again connected to a higher source. And then you begin to look, and then all of a sudden, you are introduced to the first business school for entrepreneurs of its kind. And you find out that this is, was created for you, that the great spirit had created this for you, and that you were going to spend the most amazing life, fast forward now 38 years, that you have now spent doing this. How was I supposed to know this? How were you supposed to know this, the little Dorisita, as my inner child? So your whole life is about protecting yourself, protecting yourself. So you hear things that are not there, that people are supporting, giving you feedback, loving you, and you hear negative feedback and people are attacking you and all this. And it was just like one of those, I don't know if you've ever seen those Japanese paintings that if you look at it a certain way, a whole new picture comes out. I don't know if you've ever seen that on any street fairs or anything. It's really amazing. It's like, whew, a new picture comes up. All of a sudden, this new picture came up that I was actually loved and supported. So I actually have an affirmation that everyone around me loves and supports me. And they want the best for me because it's true. I don't have anybody sabotaging me. I don't have anybody who, who doesn't love me around me. When somebody is really judgmental of me, I feel it immediately and we have a little conversation. And, and they usually part ways. I'm bringing up too many feelings for them. And or, or, or I ask them to stay and, and let's work with each other together. So what I have not, what I have, I have not only, at first I learned how to create firewalls, three deep breaths, knowing that I was in perturbation. And what was it that, that I really wanted to do at that moment? At that moment, I need to take a walk. At that moment, I need to, to, to give myself choices because, oh, uh, Lynn McTaggart, Mac McTaggart, Taggart, Lynn McTaggart, uh, the power of intention. Because she was the one, and many other masterful people that really understand how the brain, how consciousness work, have really studied this for decades. It's their lifelong work. And they teach you things that when you give, when you, when you give yourself more than one choice, you begin to, to breathe a little bit better. So right now, all of you, when we hang up, when you are not doing this, I want you to stay with me a little longer, just 20 more minutes. What I want you to do is I want you to think of a situation that you're in and just really give yourself choices and, and, and come up with the solutions to that choice. And then what you need to do is you need to go ahead and have somebody else uh, call somebody else, like a, uh, a, a best friend or somebody, maybe not a best friend, maybe somebody like Nicola that, that is really there to empower you. She's your leader in this business. Or, you know, and you call them up and you say, I need some support in clearing this. And so, so then what happens is, can you just help me, help me get more choices? And then they, when you, after you speak with them, you might have more choices. So one of the choices was to call them. So you're feeling no choice, right? You're up against the wall. Something bad really happened. Something occurred. You can't really see straight. First choice, call somebody. Actually, the first choice was to take three deep breaths. The second choice was for you to take a walk. The third choice was for you to call somebody. And the fourth choice may be for you to just wait. Okay, you just wait. You do not make any major decisions and you say to people, you say you're in the middle of a negotiations and something happened. You can say to people, I need time. I need time to say, well, we can't give you time. To say, I totally understand. I totally understand. And I need time. If you can't give me time, I totally understand. That was a choice that you just made. So the biggest mistake but Mr. Fuller says the biggest mistake human beings make is to make themselves wrong for making mistakes. But another mistake that we make is that to think that we don't have a choice. You have a choice about 
everything. Now, there are human beings that we work with that we're constantly wanting to, to eradicate poverty and hunger. There are many people in the world, over 1.5 billion people, that have very little choice. <clears throat> These are human beings that are surviving. They don't have enough water. They don't have enough food. They don't have refrigeration. They don't have electricity. They live off of, you know, nature in little tiny huts and their children die. And this is why it's so committed to the eradication of poverty and hunger. Those are people without choices, okay? There's not a lot of choice. And they, they have not listened to a program like this. They have not been educated. That's why so many organizations that I know humanitarian organizations do beautiful work by not only providing you know self-sufficiency tools and items we're getting ready to provide solar cookers to eradicate a whole piece of a, bit, a major problem you could go to um, solovalleychina.com forward slash solar cookers you will read a little bit about that so we we are creating solutions for them but only when you are there otherwise you have choice i want everyone to take a deep breath right now i have choice i always have the choice and one of the reasons why i handle money and i decided that i would never not have money and have access to cash and access to resources access to mentors and access to education access to to support when I am on the freaking floor because my heart is so broken. When I made that decision that that was never going to happen to me again, it was my whole street, my LA street being raised in LA. You know, my, we came from Chile to Los Angeles when I was 12 years old. And I love my street girl. She came out and she says, money can get me some really mean attorneys. Money's can help me pay for whatever outrageous taxes I'm being charged. And money can help me with medical. Money can solve some of my problems. I was smart enough to know that money does not solve all problems because the more money you have, then you start having a thing called rich people problems. So the firewalls, the getting unstuck, that how do you move out of, like right now you're going towards a certain goal. You, you want a certain number of sales. You want to be able to have this number of leads, this number of sales. The first thing you need to do is to come into the system that has been provided for you that will solve those problems because believe it or not, you're not the first person to have the problem that you're having now. You guys have heard me. There's no more, on the whole planet, there's no more than 12 problems. Around money, no more than five. One of the biggest challenges that people have is not following systems. So I definitely want you to listen to the Zoom from yesterday. And that was the one when we were talking about I was giving tips to people in network marketing and entrepreneurs all over. All the tips are the same, really, in many, many ways. There, I mean, I went into some more stories about the network marketing business, but really. But one of the things that, that you have to understand is that you have already given, if you work with Nicola, you, have, you already have the systems in place. She has all these training programs where she's teaching you all the different things that will come up. But what happens is that sometimes we have a tendency to think that we can do it better, that it can be done better, or I know how to do it better. So what you want to do is you want to surrender to the masters. You want, when there is an area that you're not a master at, you become a team player. You now become a person that's going to be told what to do in that one area. But you're still the boss. You can still be the leader. You're the leader of your own business. You are the CEO of your own life. Go to moneyandyou.com. There's a four-session business makeover there. And then just download the first one, my friend Maria Simone, is going to be replaced soon, but I love that talk about being the CEO of your own life. There is no adult supervision. I have a 91-year-old mom. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I'm so grateful I still have my mom. 
one of her famous favorite lines, when she says, say that line, say that line. She loves this line. Mom, there's no adult supervision. <laughs> she was my adult supervision for so many years. And when we travel together, we do some things. I go, come on, let's go have some ice cream. She goes, no, I don't think it's a good time. I go, mom, there's no adult supervision. It's us. We can make the decision. She goes, that's right. I'm your mother. Okay, you can have some ice cream. So, so what happens? What happens? Where's that supervision coming from? There's nobody there. It's a little voice. It's something sitting on your shoulder that you made up. Actually, you didn't make it up. It was there. But now it's almost like you, you need to clear this up. And this is why and, and I'm constantly inviting people. Money in you is completely handled. It's money in you is going to happen for thousands of years because they're growing, they're growing, they're growing, they grow. Sadly, they grow mostly in Asia. You know, so Nicola knows that I really want to bring this work back to the United States because the U.S. really, really needs it. There was one point, I think, we always needed money in you, but there was a few years there when I thought this country is handled. We don't need money in you. It changed about 20 years ago, probably. And we need it more than ever. Generalized principles about business, about tools, about the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad is based on the work that we learned from Buckminster Fuller. And, 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 and what we learned through the years that we teach in Money and You. This is why I told Kiyosaki, whatever book you write about the work is going to be huge because people are going to start getting that they are not educated. Their financial literacy, you know, it's, it's not only that. Once you learn how to make money, that's one thing. The other one is to allow yourself to keep it. That's another Zoom talk, by the way. To allow yourself to keep the money and grow the money because of your deservability level, because you might be stuck. You're stuck in some thought and it goes on and on and it just goes, it goes like into a loop and it repeats itself, repeats itself. And this is where, you know, I haven't drank alcohol since 1988. And sobriety was kind of weird because now I didn't have that alcohol to kind of like numb me out. I had to really look at my life and really confront things. So sobriety, I love, I love because I, I began to be able to really see myself. So you, there was no monsters inside of you. It's a beautiful children's book that was written many years ago. I wish I could remember, and the title might have been, There Is No Monster, or something like that. But, but it was all about a little boy that thought there was this monster monster, and then at the end, it was like there was no monster at the end of this book. It was like this little, monster that he thought that was within him it's not you're not a little monster you just haven't been given the right tools and you haven't learned how to clear yourself so right now the biggest sale i'm going to make for you is nine dollars and 95 cents go to myaccesstocash.com listen to some of the free materials we have there go to amazon order my uh, access to cash book get it as soon as possible and then go ahead and do the actual book the uh, actual magical exercises chapter seven get really clear on your deservability level you know i talk about this in all these rooms because that is the most powerful process that you can do when it's going to help you get unstuck because you're going to get to know what it is that your subconscious has those decisions so those decisions that you may have made that is not allowing you to move from making $5,000 a month, $20,000 a month, $50,000 a month, and maybe even $100,000 a month. So now you begin to have millions in sales. There's no difference between you and a high producer, except that they probably were trained and trained themselves and did the clearing and also got the tools, the powerful business tools, the business success model, 
that how do you get your team aligned, which we covered also yesterday. We've been covering all these Zoom calls. And, you know, it's, it's, it has been so wonderful being with Nicola. I don't know. I believe that on Tuesday night we're having a, uh, some kind of an event that I'll get to meet you all, many of you, um, and those of you that, many of you that are coming to Money and You, I look forward to meeting you. But on, on Tuesday night, I also get to meet those of you that want to see me and say hi, and I want to meet you. And, and, but I'd rather that you really now create being at Money and You next week. Because it is going to be the program where you, for three and a half days, you're going to have the power of intention of a group of people that wants to get clear, that wants to know themselves, that wants to clear some of decisions that you may have made that are keeping you from making the money or keeping the money or growing the money. But more than anything else, we're going to go experientially through the business success model where you have an opportunity to really know what working with masters, mastery, creating a niche, how to leverage, how to leverage that niche about systems. We'll teach you a bunch of systems, rules of the game, policies, and then how to create an aligned team. We'll be working on teams all week long. And then, of course, you create synergy and ultimately you create results. And for me, what I want to do is I want to encourage you and ask you that once you become financially independent or even on your way to becoming financially independent, please join me in eradicating poverty and hunger on planet Earth. If you are too busy to do it yourself, just do it the way that sometimes I do it, which is to support some beautiful on the ground workers that work day in and day out in healing the souls of many people, in healing their wounds, physical and internal, on people that work with the homeless, on people that work with the, with the dying. This is, you know, next time you feel stuck and you feel like life is not working for you, I want you to go to your nearest convalescent home your nearest ICU, go to a hospital and just go to the ICU, take a big bag of chocolates, pass it around to all the families who are there because their family members may not leave there. Many of them already know they're not going to be leaving there. And talk to the nurses and say, you know, I'm here. Is there anyone that nobody is touching their hand? Is there anybody in this hospital? that need support. And they usually will send you to a system that they have of volunteers. But every once in a while, they will just say, oh, there's this little lady over there, especially in convalescent homes. She has nobody. Nobody visits her. She's on her last few weeks. And you just go hold somebody's hand and feel and feel and just feel. And I guarantee you that on your way home, you're going to get really unstuck because that is sometimes where I take my ego. I call it, I, I have little firewalls with my ego and I say, we're going to India. I don't say that anymore because India is doing so well. <laughs> but I have to tell you in the old days when we used to have pictures, oh, let me take you to China. Well, China is doing really well. There's still a lot of poor people there, but not the way it used to be. So you have to just take yourself down the street sometimes to get unstuck of the stuckness is within you and you have the choices and you have the power and you have the energy to be able to remove them. And you also need to power up with entrepreneurial education because money will solve some of those problems. But you most likely were not taught how to create money, how to make money, how to grow your money, how to keep the money, but more than anything else, how to use the tools that I just share with you. Everything that I just share with you has been how to get unstuck and how to make your life work even better. And so take a deep breath. And um, for more information, what we're going to do is I'm going to open up the chat here. You know, you can write um, Nicola for the people in, in, in beautiful, beautiful Atlanta and all over the country. Is she and we decided to do a scholarship process. So for those of you, you can write to Nicola, uh, successwithnicola at gmail.com. 
successwithnicola at gmail.com and just put on the subject line, you know, your scholarship information and she will send you the information that, that you need or her team will or I will. And for those of you that are signing up, I will give you a copy, a soft copy of my book, The, the Business Success Model, that we're giving that to everyone in the class. But more than anything else, I look forward to you being part of my network. You know, I've been around this for nearly four decades, and I'm not going anywhere. I just stay really busy on the other side of the planet, and uh, I just really, really look forward to meeting many of you. So I'm going to check in. I'm going to see whether we have any questions. Okay, any chat? And uh, let me see, Nicola, is there any way you can join us? Okay, so Nicola is, was not able to join us yet. And uh, I, have, I don't have any questions. All right. So let me see, my participants are on. Just Can you just say a quick hello? I'm just curious. I can't see who's on there. But I'm sure that it's going to be some of the wonderful people that have been in all the Zooms. Uh, you know, there is a group there that we have been really supporting all along. So anyway, so I want to really, really thank you. And, um, and uh, oh, here, let's see. There's Nicola. I'm monitoring the board. So when you're ready to just say goodbye, I'll end the webinar. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. I, I want to really thank Nicola and, of course, Trina, who is handling this for me. Thank you, Trina. Thank you, Nicola. Thank you, Robert. And thank you to the whole team. You know, success with Nicola. What a great team of people that we, we, we're working with. And I thank you so much for bringing us to Atlanta, Georgia. We'll see you next week. And everyone, aloha, everyone. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful life. Bye-bye.